What's good YouTube? Today we have a top four deck profile from the Melbourne, Australia regionals. I was told it wasn't Melbourne. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is Bob Wynn's top four deck list. 48 cards you might notice. Three Fossil Dina, double Barrier Statue of the Torrent, triple Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds, and a copy of Barrier Statue of the Abyss. This deck's pretty good against Zoo and Dinosaurs. I guess it would struggle with the true Dracos, as that was his only lost in tournament. One Regeki, three copies of Pot of Desires, three Card of Demise, three Pot of Duality, one Book of Moon, triple Forbidden Lance, triple Moon Mirror Shield, one copy of Mage Power, one Seal of Ori Kalkos, three Storming Mirror Force, one copy of Quaking, double Starlight Road, one Compulse, triple Phantom Knight Wings, triple Phantom Knight Sword, triple Solemn Strike. Three copies of Dark Fry and a Solemn Warning. We've got two copies of Stardust Dragon over here for the two Starlight Roads, which are uh, also able to be summoned while you have your Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds out. We've got Radian. Three copies of Gamma Seal, three Masquerade Strict, two Ghost Ogre, three copies of Fog King, two Dark Holes, and a My... Two copies... <laughs> Or one copy of my body is a shield. Sorry, guys. A little sick here. It's a it's a little rough to be doing the the reports and uh, about to head out to Pittsburgh here. So round one, I faced Cameron Nias, who played Zephyr Yang Zing. Game one, I won the dice roll and he scooped. He couldn't do anything. Game two, he went first and made a Vaxia on my turn with one to two negates. I couldn't do anything. Game three, I drew the nuts, opening desires, fossil Dina, and Carter demise. He couldn't do anything about my five back row. Round two, I played against a Cosmo. Won the dice roll. He couldn't do anything. Game two, he bricked. Uh, three versus Pierzu. I'm sorry, I can't read through all of this. My throat's just not allowing it. Round four, Wind Witches. He won. Round five, Pierzu. He won. Round six is his only loss. Game one, his opponent made a masterpiece in Dryden and he scooped. Game two, he opened Fossil Line, a Master Restricting Desires. He couldn't stop him. Round three, it went into time and we both bricked. I had two Gamma Seal and Strike and one Starlight Road. Two turns later, he summons Masterpiece and attack directly. Drew into Starlight Road and lost. Round 7, Dinosaurs against Dion. Game 1, he won the dice roll. He made a true King of Calamities with Lagia. He negated my Moon Mirrors, and I drew into another one with Desires. He couldn't break my board afterwards. Game 2, he bricked. And he says, uh, My version of Barrier Statues focuses on protecting both my back row and my Barrier Statues. In, the, in this event, two other players play Barrier Statues. And they focus more on things to stop their opponent rather than prioritizing their statues and fossil dino. They played Necro Valley, Masquery Strict, Thunder King Ryu, Macro Cosmos, and Anti Spell. I reckon that version of Barrier Statue is uh, worse, and they should be prioritizing the Barrier Statue and Dino more, as you only need them to stop your opponent. I would not play Starlight Road in the main deck during this format. No, not many players play Twin Twisters anymore, and it should be a side deck. The reason behind my large deck count is due to Pot of Desires and the decks pl that play well in the late game. Oh, the deck itself plays well in the late game. Extra deck could be anything. It's just there to trick your opponent if you use one. We'd like to shout out Team Chow, Long, Hagai, and Kim for letting me borrow their cards. So there you have it. Bob wins Barrier Statues. A bit of report, sorry my lungs can't take the entire thing, and I have a few more deck lists to do before we're out. 